Not too long ago I made two little videos on how to check out Zener diodes and this is kind of a continuation of that. Um, basically what I'm going to do here is show how everything looks on an oscilloscope and for this I have a little AC transformer it's hooked up to the AC mains line voltage and on the other side is coming out it looks like about around 18 volts um, peak to peak AC you can see I've got hooked up down here and this I'm running all of this through a isolation um, transformer I really don't think I need it for this but it's always better to be on the safe side so next I'm gonna go ahead and hook up a Zener diode to this and then I'm going to go ahead and show how the waveform looks. Now here's my setup. I'm using two alligator clips running from the um, power transformer here. The power transformer is plugged into an isolation transformer. Um, and on the breadboards I'm using here this is a I think it's a 1.2k or 1200 ohm current limiting resistor which of course limits the current so we don't burn this thing up and the Zener diode itself is a 5.1 volt Zener diode and of course these two alligator clips are just coming from the transformer which can be seen right there um, and of course the oscilloscope is across the Zener diode. Now I'm taking a look at the waveform and right now, right here you can see it. This is the basically the zero crossing point. I've got the scope in the ground position. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the DC position. If I put it in the AC position I'm going to get something that looks like that which I don't want. Um, since this here, this line here is the zero crossing point so if I cover this up I can see exactly what this diode is rated for since the scope is on the two volts per division so if I count up it's one it's two volts four volts five volts so the diode then is rated right around five volts and if we look below the zero crossing point here we can see this is the forward conduction and the top wave here was the reverse conduction and right here you can see that there's no basically little current flow to here and then um, based on what I showed with my previous videos on Zener diodes then you can see the diode basically clamping the voltage down the, the voltage goes up the voltage is gonna basically stay the same um, but the current's going to go up a lot, of course, until the waveform reverses here. And actually, it looks looks. I would say it looks pretty square. Um, of course, now here's the. This is forward conduction, and that should be if we read it. Um, two volts per division. And right, I would say we are. Are we on there? Yep. It looks to be like right under right around one volt per division or a little bit a little bit less and I think the silicone diode forward conduction is about 0.6 or 0.7 volts somewhere around there so that makes basically that makes sense too now next I'm gonna go ahead and just get a regular diode out of my bin somewhere I think I'm just gonna try generic uh, 4148 which is not a Zener diode and see what kind of a reading I can get out of that. So I now have a generic um, 1N4148 hooked up and the oscilloscope is across that and I'm on 2 volts per division and you can see here if you, again if you look at the top here it's more like a almost like a sine wave so this is, um, I don't think this is useful as a Zener diode either, although you, you could probably put it in, you know, in a pinch if you knew the um, 
reverse breakdown voltage. If you remember the actual Zener dial, that almost looked like a square wave up here. And it had a really sharp corner. That, that corner, by the way, is called the Zener knee. And um, here it is. Zener knee would be totally rounded off. And since this here is the zero crossing point, if we look down here, um, this would be forward bias here because the voltage is really low and of course it stays steady. Um, so this couldn't be used either. Now um, as a last test I think I'm going to go ahead and try a, um, a transistor and see what happens then. Now believe it or not this is a 2N2222 now, I don't know which uh, which junction I had it hooked up to here, um, but you can see here this is looking a lot better than the regular diodes because one of the characteristics, for example, of a Zener diode is that it has that sharp knee I was talking about, and you can see this here. This actually you could actually use a transistor, I guess, if it came down to it, um, and the voltage was somewhat correct. I guess you'd have to do trial and error. And of course here down here is forward forward bias. This is the um, your zero line. And you can see forward bias that would be well what is it here? Right under a volt or something like that. It's a silicon transistor. And we read up here I'm on two volts per division. Two, four, six um, almost 8 volts, maybe right there. So yeah, I think the, uh, bizarrely enough, a transistor could be used as a Zener diode in a pinch until you got your the Zener diode that actually needed to be replaced. Uh, anyways, I think this is enough for this subject uh, for now. Thanks for watching.